has announced a affordable VR backpack that packs the power of a high-end PC without the cords. The PC is a part of the Omen X line and is currently under demo testing. Although the specs aren't entirely known, it will have up to 32 GB of memory, either an Intel Core i5 or i7 processor, built-in dual venting fans, and an hour of battery on one charge. The battery-operated exoskeleton suit is under development by the US Military Defense Advanced Research Development with the goal of augmenting soldiers' abilities in the field. Much like an Iron Man suit, Talos would increase a soldier's strength, stamina, and protection by monetizing their legs and creating a soft exoskeleton frame to hold extra weight. Talos is currently in the prototype stage, but the researchers at MIT and Harvard are working to make the exoskeleton an everyday tool. Google's self-driving car project aims to create safe self-driving cars that will reduce traffic accidents and allow easy communicating regardless of a person's ability to drive. Text sensors and Google software, the cars are able to sense where it is in the world and what is around the car predict what will happen next and determine what to do. Currently, Google's cars have self-driven over 1.5 million miles. Bionic eye implants commonly consist of a camera and a microchip which convert signals to electric impulses that stimulate retinal cells at the optic nerve. Traveling along the optic nerve, these impulses eventually reach the brain where they are interpreted as an image. With features like designed enhanced features, reflective telescopes zoom in and out of an image and record images and videos, the most exciting part of this technology is the possibility for blind users to see for the first time. Although genetic engineering isn't new by most people's standards, it has gained momentum from relatively recent discovery of CRISPRCAS9. CRISPRCAS9 is a tool used to target and discard specific sequences of DNA, enabling systematic genome editing in organisms. This tool consists of three parts, and researchers have been using the tool to research methods for fighting diseases including HIV and muscular dystrophy.